Uh, so business card synthesizer. Oh, very excited about this. So I got a lot of goodies here in order to accomplish this. Let's see what we get in here. Uh, some colorful LEDs. These are capacitors right there. This is some manner of transistor right there. And some resistors. And that looks like a diode of some sort. Lots of knobs and some ports here to actually be able to hear it. That would be good. I say knobs. These are potentiometers. Let's get the let's get the terminology right. Uh, I think this is a push button. Yeah, you can hear the little clicky maybe. If you can't, well, just trust me. Uh, you heard a click. I am gaslighting you. Uh, this is the medium. This is our circuit board right here. That looks complicated. The important part is the integrated circuit. They call it an IC. This is what's actually doing all the sound work right there. It's this, and it's probably contained in here. That little beast right there. Beautiful. But here's something relatable right here. This is the CPU for an NES. And the CPU actually had an audio processing unit as well. So all the cool little sounds that you hear coming out of your Nintendo when you're playing a game is because of this guy, the 2A03. Very cool stuff. You got all these pre-done holes and stuff and you know components will just kind of slip into those holes and I'll go on the back side and I'll solder everything in place. Okay, I'm gonna leave everybody in here. This is this is nice. Makes it nice and easy. They're all stuck in there so I can just pull you know any component out that I need. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh look, they even give you a checklist for them. Oh we we are go we are going to do the checklist. Okay, so one of these is an oddball. So that's 10,000 ohms. And then we got a million ohms. Friggin' million. We're gonna do a little test. I'm gonna use this meter here. So this this is indeed the one million one. Uh, some excellent instructions I found. But that's basically what the uh, face of the enclosure would look like for this. So, so um, and but that's what the finished product is gonna look like. This is my soldering iron. I've got some control over the heat level right there. And I've got this little guy that's going to help hold the circuit board. So we can actually put it on some right there. We need our soldering wire. And this is soldering paste that actually helps the solder to actually stay in the confines of where it's supposed to be. Not really great with working this thing. So yeah. So I got to wait for it to heat up. product right here. I've got this little translation sheet that I'm looking at here. So maybe we'll back it up a little bit so we can kind of see a little bit of what we're working with. This is the audio out. I've got it up to the little speaker there. It can run off of a nine volt battery. So we see some blinking lights already. So I'll be able to control it here. And So the main sound that we're hearing right now is determined by this. Its pitch is going to be uh, decided between these two. So what we have right here is what's called a square or, or pulse wave, depending on uh, the width of its duty cycle. So we have that shift there. It's either going to be a wider, uh, longer duty cycle or a shorter one. So we're going to get that difference in sound here. So. So it sounds a little, a little bit more buzzy there. So that's coarse and fine right there. 
that's the one I like. And then um, we have sawtooth, which is right here. I'll switch that down to here. That's that buzzy sound. It sounds like a saw. Got some good low sounds there. And then a triangle, you would think would sound like sawtooth, but it doesn't. It sounds really smooth like a sine wave, so. Yeah, that's the one I like. Here, I'll skip over to these knobs over here, so attack. So when I press this button, how it's pretty snappy. If I turn it up, notice it's, it eases into the note. Uh, and release, similarly, when I let go, um, it immediately goes away, but if I turn release up, it kind of holds on here. It's almost like an echo. Or I can even do it like a... But the real fun here comes with these two low-frequency oscillators. So this is like, in addition, this adds a little more shape to the wave. Uh, right now it's set to zero, which means that I'm not adding in either one of these. So I'm, I'm picking one or the other. I can control the low frequency oscillator shape and rate. So let's see what it does. So that's um, pretty loud. So that's like... Here comes the rate, so you see the light. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. Pretty cool, huh?